Hey everyone. So the build you're seeing right here is my uh, table tennis ball ball V2. Uh, it is built out of 80 table tennis balls with addressable LEDs behind them that are uh, glued to 3D printed plastic pieces. Uh, yeah, you do not need much materials or tools to build this, which is why I made it instructable for you guys, so you can actually uh, build one yourself if you want like. Uh, the link is in the comments. So I will shortly go over the design of this thing. Uh, when I originally built this, I had something, I had a ball in mind with flowing colors around it, and I think it uh, ended up looking quite well, like sort of how I imagined it. Uh, the colors are just flowing uh, in layers. This sphere exists out of eight layers. It's because it's uh, a truncated icosahedron, which is a nice mathematical shape, so it actually allowed for relatively easy anima animation. So if I actually look at the, at the inside, you can see it's it's quite stuffed in here, which is because of, because of the excess wires of the LEDs. And the microcontroller is actually <laughs> somewhere buried underneath here, but it's it's fine because it's still uh, you can still access it due to the from the bottom if you want to reprogram it. So let me turn this thing off real quick. And compare it to the first version, first version of this thing. Uh, like they might look quite similar. Actually, the difference is that the panels in here are uh, three printed, and these in here are laser cut and painted, which just makes a very small difference. And then there is uh, the fact that if you actually look in between here, you can actually see pieces of yellow hot glue whilst it is not visible in the second version because the balls in the second version are actually glued towards the black frame whilst in the first version the balls are actually glued to our, on, each, on each other. So the real difference comes when you actually take a look at the inside. You can see that the inside of the first uh, version is like way cleaner and this is because it uses uh, LED strips instead of the stranded LEDs. And this originally allowed me to put a power supply in here, but uh, like once I did it, it actually became an oven, so I had to take it out. Uh, which is also how I destroyed it, actually. <laughs> but yeah, it uh, did make me redes redesign the thing and actually build better instructions for you guys, so I guess it actually ended up yeah, being a good thing. So let me... Uh, Take this thing away real quick. Oh. So yeah, as I mentioned, there's an instructable in the district in the instructions, and I would really appreciate it if you uh, would check it out. And if you enjoyed this video or project in general, and you want me to make more projects like this, which you could also build at home or something, please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.